I am Roger Davis Jr. and I'm a PhD student at the University of Mississippi in the Department of Higher Education. As an intern in the 2022 Junior Fellows Program, I am working in the Connecting Communities Digital Initiative at the Library of Congress on Enhancing Access Higher Education. The title of the project I've been working on is Improving Access and Opportunity and Exploration of African American Higher Education Experiences in the South, which is a story map used to depict the progression of Black high school graduates, access to higher education, and their experiences of integrating institutions in the South. Using the African American History Online, a resource guide and resources from the Civil Rights History Project Digital Collection, I will explore the oral histories of African American activists who influenced the freedom struggle of African Americans, including higher education. Many interviewees belong to a wide range of occupations, including lawyers, doctors, professors, and others. This collection was part of the Civil Rights History Project Act of 2009 and was initiated in 2010. The collection contains more than 1,200 items gathered from scholarship and directed by the Library of Congress's American Folklife Center and the Smithsonian Institution's National Museum of African American History and Culture. Simply defined, a dual system refers to segregation, and in the context of this project, it relates to higher education segregation. A single integrated system of higher education is referred to as a unitary system. Historically, 19 states operated under a dual system of higher education. The majority were in the southern part of the country, but also Delaware, Maryland, Pennsylvania, Ohio, and Oklahoma. American higher education has advanced greatly throughout the years, as illustrated in the story map. Many legal documents, political leaders, and African-American activists paved the way for integration in the United States and the end of the dual school system to a unitary school system. Despite considerable pushback, equal rights for African-American students evolved slowly and persistently. In spite of the long road to desegregation, the United States legal initiatives have enabled access to higher education for historically excluded and disenfranchised populations. Creating diverse, equitable, and multicultural learning environments has been a top focus for higher education institutions for the past 50 years, and it remains one of the most important challenges on campuses today. Thank you to the Library of Congress and the Connecting Communities Digital Initiative for the opportunity to complete this project.